You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast by Dr. T. Michael W. Halcom, Dr. Frederick J. Long, Dr. Mario Melendez, Dr. Jennifer Noonan, and J. M. Smith. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I am Michael Halcom, and in this episode, we are thinking about vocabulary. So this is a vocabulary episode. And what we're looking at is the Hebrew language. So in today's uh, lesson, we're going to be learning about the Hebrew word that um, that is spelled shen, vav or vow, bet. So shuv, shuv. And uh, if you're watching, what we are going to do is look at um, stepbible.org, and then we'll have a look at two-letter lookup uh, just to double-check ourselves. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, if you're watching, I'm going to pull this on the screen. If you're just listening, that's perfectly fine too. Let's go ahead and pull up stepbible.org here, and we'll do a search real quick and see what we come up with. Let me go ahead and set my keyboard to Hebrew. There we go. And we got shuv typed in. Shane Val Bit, and you'll see what comes up down here in uh, some of our lexical entries. The first one, of course, is Shuv, and that occurs over 1,100 times in the Old Testament in the Hebrew Scriptures in 13 different forms. And you see that the simple gloss is to return or just return. And we have a little bit of a different form, still related, Shovav which means turning back. We have shovev, which is backsliding, and shuva, which is returning. Now, there are these other names, like proper names, shovav, shovak, shova, shovek. Those probably all have some sense of shuv embedded in them. But, yeah, you can see that overall this has to do with turning or returning. So let's go ahead and look at Shuv. We'll look at some examples here in the Old Testament. The first one occurs in Genesis um, 3.19, and we get Shuvka. Shuvka. You, re- you return to the ground. Uh, we get it twice. Um, uh, Tashuv is another form we get in that verse as well. In Genesis 8.3, we have it twice as well. So, Vayashuvu. Uh, and then shuv, uh, yeah, shov, is when we get there. And when we look at Genesis 8, 7, vashov, this is talking about Noah, where he sent out the bird, and it returned. Um, let's see, let's look at a little bit of a later example. Uh, maybe in something outside of Genesis, although it appears in Genesis a ton. Look at Exodus. In Exodus uh, 10, 8, we get uh, uh, Vayushav, Vayushav. Um, let's see, in Exodus 13, 7, we get um, Vashavu. So all kinds of different forms here. And uh, we need to know this word because it occurs over 1,100 times. And uh, it's pretty important. So again, it has the idea of turn or return. Let's head over to two-letter lookup and just uh, look there too. It's a site I like to use. We get uh, Shane, Val, Big, and there you go. Shuv, um, to turn back, to turn in, to retreat, to retreat, or to turn again, or just again. Um, come back, go back, return back. Uh, turn away. So lots of um, lots of stuff going on here. Lots of glosses. Uh, you can see um, in the the AV translations, there's tons of glosses where this is used um, to fetch, which has the idea of returning, but um, to pay, to pervert. Yeah, some to withdraw. Some really fascinating stuff. Um, going on with this. So we'll stop there uh, and remember that shuv has to do with turning or returning, right? So um, 
Yeah, I don't really have a, a mnemonic device for us this time. Maybe you know one, but uh, that's where I'm going to stop. And I'll just say, I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills, but not sure where to start? Glossa House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.